Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Facebook. I got Facebook back on. I was trying to get into. Trying to get on um, Instagram, but I don't think it's allowing me to. I can't remember my password for. Again, good morning, Facebook Live. This is Evangelist Sabine. It is Tuesday morning. This is 5 a.m. War Cry. 5.38, actually. War Cry. So, um, you know, I come on, pray, and then get off. Blessing Periscope. No, it's not my first day on Periscope. I normally come on Tuesdays at midnight, but I said that a few weeks ago. Um, Periscope, I'm on these medication. I'm not able to get up at midnight or at 3 a.m. So um, that's why I'm on at this time. Amen. So we're just going to go in prayer. Good morning, Periscope. Hello, 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 hello. God, we bless you. God, we lift up your name. We make your name big on this morning. Hallelujah. We ask that you come in this space, that your spirit dwell here. My God, that no flesh get no glory. That when it's all said and done, that you are highly exalted, that you are highly lifted up, that you get all the glory that is due unto you and to you alone. God, I bless you, oh God. I lift your name on high. I thank you for my laying down on last night. I thank you for my rising up this morning. I thank you for the use and the activities of my limbs. There is none like you, God. There is none above you, God. God, you have no rival. You have no equal. You said come before you with singing this morning, oh God. This morning, oh God, receive the fruits of my lips. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Oh Lord, my God, my Redeemer. Oh, because you live, I can face tomorrow. Because you live, I can face tomorrow. That is the assurance that I have on this morning because he live I can face tomorrow I can face whatever tomorrow brings this morning during these uh, perilous time doing these perplexed time doing these dark spaces doing this dark season God We choose to give you the glory in spite of it all. We choose to give you all the glory and all the honor. We choose to make your name big. Bigger than what's going on around us. Bigger than what's going on even in our household, God. We give you glory. We give you the honor that is due unto your name and your name alone. This morning, we come with a heart of gratitude simply to say thank you. And if you don't do another thing, we are grateful. If you don't answer another prayer, we are satisfied. We thank you. We thank you for what you are. We thank you for who you represent, for what you represent in our lives, for who you are. You are in a class, in a category all by yourself. You are faithful. You are righteous. You are holy. You are our sanctifier. Oh, we bless you, God. We give you the glory, O Lord. We give you the glory, O God. Our soul delight in you. Our soul seek to please you, O God. We will look to the hill, O God, for where comes our help? Our help comes from you, O God. Our help is not coming from the job. Our help does not come from our spouse. Our help does not come from our bank account. Our help comes from you, oh God. Our help come from you. You are our source. You are our source. The job is just a resource, oh God. Those that are troubled, oh God, but what's going on 
right now, oh God. We ask, Father God, even right now, that you will minister, oh God, an untimed word, that you will minister, oh God, to the core, to the facet of their being. This morning, oh God, we simply come to say thank you. This morning, we simply come to make your name big. We make your name bigger than what we are faced with. We are making your name bigger than the situation that we found ourselves in, even right now, oh Lord. According to Psalm 21, oh God, even with the vicissitudes of life, even when we find ourselves in the valley, oh God, because we are in a valley right now, we are in a dark season right now. But we know, Father God, in order to even look up to the hill, we have to be positioned in the valley. So we are looking up to you, O God. Our eyes are fixed on you on this morning. We are looking on to you, O Lord. Because we know that our help's come from you. We know that we can draw strength from you, oh God. This morning I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will squeeze strength to everyone that's ten in need of divine strength. That you will catapult them into a new realm in you, oh God. That you will take us, oh God, to higher heights and deeper depths, oh God. This time, oh God, is only to shift, shift our focus, oh God. It's only to look to the cross. It's only to look to the hill for where comes our help. Our help comes from you, oh God. Our help doesn't come from nowhere else, no, oh Lord. It doesn't come from the government. It doesn't come from our economic status, Lord. It comes from you, oh God. You are our keeper. You are our sustainer. You are our keeper during these perilous times. You are our sustainer, oh God. We thank you, oh God. Because we could have lost our mind in the midst of what's going on. We thank you for shielding us. We thank you for clothing us in the right state of mind. We thank you, oh God, for all that you are and all that you are doing in our lives. We thank you, God. You are gracious, oh Lord. You are faithful, oh God. You are faithful, oh we thank you. Welcome, Periscope. Welcome. It's not my first day on Periscope. Maybe at this time on Tuesday, I normally come on at... Uh, midnight praise God we thank you God we thank you for being faithful we thank you for being righteous we thank you for being holy we thank you oh Lord for being the keeper of our soul we thank you for being the lover us of our soul we thank you for being the bright and morning star we thank you oh Lord for being Jehovah Shalom we thank you for being Jehovah Jireh you are the Lord our provider thank you for being Sh Jehovah Shalom the Lord our peace thank you for being Jehovah Tiskanu Thank you for being our sanctifier. Thank you, oh Lord, for being Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord, our healer. Yes, Lord, we thank you for all that you are, for all that you represent in our lives, oh God. Words is not enough to describe your awesomeness. Word is not enough to describe your goodness. Word is not enough to describe your faithfulness, oh God. We thank you on this morning. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for being ancient of these. We thank you for being the bright and morning star. We thank you, oh Lord, for being lily of the valley. We thank you, oh God. We thank you this morning, oh God. This morning, oh God, we come with our heart lifted up. We come, oh God, with our heart bowed down, oh God. Our heart posture, oh God. We bow it down to you physically, oh God. We bow our knees. We bend our knees. We bend. We bend our head, oh God, and we say that you are sovereign of it all. You are in control of it all. Everything that's going on around us, oh God, when everything in our lives, when everything in our world seems to be crumbling, oh God, we know that you are the keeper of it all. You are the one that can sustain us. You are the one that can undergird us during these perilous times, during these difficult times. This morning, oh God, we come in total surrenderance. We surrender to the totality of your will. We say, nevertheless, not our will, but let your will be done, oh God. This morning, we say, not our will, oh Lord, but let your will be done. In our lives, oh God, we want you to be glorified. This morning, we want to experience the goodness of your glory. This morning, oh God, oh, we want to experience the glory of your goodness. This morning, oh Lord, ship our focus oh god shift our focus oh god 
shift our focus back to prayer oh god yes we know that this corona pandemic it's a very serious issue but we have issues uh, other than this coronavirus, is, oh God. We got those that their marriages are laying in the balances, oh God. We got those that their marriages are laying, oh God. Torment. We got those, oh God, that are sick with other disease, oh God. We got those that are in need of a kidney transfer, oh God. We, we have those, oh God, that has sugar diabetes, that has HIV AIDS, oh God. This morning, oh God, let someone, oh God, whether it be through Periscope, Facebook Live, oh God, that is under the sequency of my voice, oh God, that they will feel your virtue, oh God, your healing virtue. There are those, oh God, that need you to heal them mentally, oh God. There are those that need you to heal their emotions, oh Lord. On this morning, oh God, I ask that you'll show yourself mighty, oh God. Be a healer to someone that's standing in need of a healing. You said healing is your children bread. On this morning, oh God, I ask that you will heal your people, oh God. That you will heal, oh God. That you will bring healing, oh God. Not only will you heal them, but you will make them whole again, oh God. This morning, oh God, I ask that you eradicate cancer, that you dry up tumors in their bodies, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone somewhere, oh God, has a migraine headache that has this debilitating migraine, oh God. I ask that you will heal them in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, we know this coronavirus, it is serious. We know that it is taking lives, oh God, but there are other issues. There are other challenges in our lives, oh God. We have our our weirwood children, oh God. We have our prodigal children, oh God. We have those that has backslidden, oh God, back into the world, oh God. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will reclaim a backslide, oh Lord. That you will save someone that needs to be saved because you made a covenant to the backslider. You said you are married to the black backslider. My goodness. This morning in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask that you reclaim a backslider. This morning, oh God, save someone that needs to be saved. Save someone, oh Lord, that needs to be saved, whether it be on Facebook Live or Periscope, oh God. Do what only you can do, oh God. Do what nobody else can do, oh Lord. Because we know that you are mighty to save. You are mighty to deliver. You are mighty to set free. This morning, oh God, we give you the glory. We give you the glory. We give you praise on credit. We give you praise on credit. In spite of what's going on around us, God. In spite of the background noises, Lord. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will fine-tune our souls. That you will fine-tune our souls, Lord. Fine-tune our souls. Help us to return back to the time when we first believed. Help us to turn back, oh God. Turn back to our first love. Help us to return back to the time when we first found you, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us to return back, oh God, to neology, oh Lord. Help us, oh God, to lay back on our face, oh God, so that we can seek your face during these perilous times, so that we can face seek your face during these dark seasons, Lord God. My God. As the text says, he that watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. We know during these dark hours, oh God, we know during the midnight hours, God, you will not sleep no slumber. The text is saying you will keep watch of us, my God. You will keep your surveillance on us, oh God. You will give your angels charge over us. The God that watches over us, he does not sleep nor slumber, oh God. Whether we feel feeble, oh God, in our bodies. Whether we feel weak in our bodies, oh God. Whether we feel that we are drained, oh Lord. You said in your word, oh God, that your strength, oh God. Your strength, oh God, is made perfect in our weakness. And in our weakness, you are merciful, my God. You are the force behind our strength. When we should have collapsed. When we should have fainted, oh God. But you kept us. 
you kept us, oh God. We thank you on this morning for strength. We thank you, oh God, for undergirding us, oh Lord. We thank you for all that you are in our lives. As we are going through this valley in life, Lord God, as we find this time of confinement, everything is at a standstill. Pretty much everyone is on lockdown. But we look to the hill. We look to the hill according to Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? question mark my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth you said in your word heaven and earth will pass away but your word your word your word your word your word will remain your word will sustain us oh god he will not let my feet to slip he who watches over you will not slumber indeed who he who watches over israel will neither slumber nor sleep the lord watches over you the lord is your shade at your right hand my god the sun will not harm you by day yes lord the moon by night the lord will keep you from all harm he will watch over your life the lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore so even the things that are to come you will watch over us you will watch over us you will not allow the sun to set us ablaze my god he that watches over you will not sleep or slumber so during these midnight hours so during these times when we are having this valley blessing periscope valley experiences lord god we can look to the hill according to your word i stand on the assurance of your word because i know that you are not like man that should lie or the son of man that shall repent i know that your word will not return to you void my god blessing periscope i know that your word will not return to you void my goodness we thank you on this morning god we praise you even right now in this valley experience we thank you even right now that you're going to make a way out of no way. That you're going to go through the highways and byways. That you will be the water in the desert, my God. That you will be our provider. That you will sustain us for such a time as this, God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh Lord, that during this time, oh God, we can return back to basics. We can return back, oh God, to the time when we first found you. Blessing Periscope, blessing Facebook. We can return back to the times, oh God, when we first fell in love with you, Lord. This morning, oh God, look at our heart posture. Take us back to the time when we first believed. Yes, Lord. Take us back to the time when we first found you, Jesus. Take us back to our faces. Take us back, oh God, on our bellies, oh God. Take us back so we can lay between the porches and the altar. Take us back so we can hold on to the horn of the altar. Take us back, oh God, so we can toil before you all night, Lord. Take us back, oh God, to the time, oh God. To the days of shutting, oh God. To the days where we said we couldn't make it without your presence. This morning, oh God, there are marriages that are in trouble. There are marriages that need a revive, to be revived. There are marriages, oh God, that are laying in the balances. Lord, there are children, oh God, that have turned out to turn to drugs our daughters that has turned to prostitution our daughters that are stripping in a nightclub yes lord we know father god they're not too far from you oh god we know that you can go beyond our reach oh lord 
this morning, oh God. Let the revival begin with us, oh God. Let the revival begin when we open up our mouths, oh Lord. Let the revival begin in our homes, oh God. I ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will ignite the fire, oh God. That out of our bellies, oh Lord, shall stream water this morning, oh God. We ask, oh God, that out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. This morning, oh God, we say yes to your will. This morning, we say yes to your ways. This morning, we say yes, Lord. Whichever way you do it, we say yes. This morning, we give you a yes, oh God, and we will not take that yes back. This morning, oh God, catapult us into a new realm in you. Take us into a new place that we've never been in you before, oh God. Make yourself more real to somebody, oh God, that is on Periscope Live or Facebook Live. You know the challenges that we are faced with daily. You know the struggles. You know the areas of struggles that we cannot tell anybody about. But this morning, oh God, we know there is nothing that is too hard for you. We know that there is nothing that is impossible with you, oh God. This morning, oh God, we ask that we'll have a divine encounter with you, oh God. That you will meet us right here, right now, Lord God. That you will have your way, God. Even right now. That even right now, Lord, that you would have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, Lord God. Have your way, have your way, have your way, have your way. Have your way, my God. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. This morning, Lord, we lift up our pastors before your throne of grace. We lift up our leaders, oh God, our men and women of God, oh God, that never had to pastor during this pandemic. We ask, Father God, that you will give them strength, hey, everyone, that you will give them the wisdom, the baby, guidance that they need. For those who are on the front line. Doing these dark and perilous times. I lift up my very own pastor and first lady before your throne of grace, Lord God. I lift up our pastors from around the world. I lift up every pastor, every evangelist, every prophet, every teacher, every apostle. I lift them all before your throne of grace, oh God. I ask, Father God, that during this time, that they will get the wisdom and understanding that they need to guide your people. I lift up everyone that is in authority in the name of Jesus. I lift up the government. I lift up President Donald Trump, oh God. I ask Father God right now that you will give them wisdom and understanding. I ask in the name of Jesus that you will rest, rule, and abide. I lift up the blood banner in the mighty name of Jesus. That America will come back to its original state. 
one nation under God. I ask in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will do, oh God, what our president is not able to do. You will do what no man can do. I ask that you turn this around for your glory. You said in your word, everything that the enemy meant for wrong, you can use it for our good. You can use it for your glory. Let us come out of this lockdown, oh God, more refined, rejuvenated, oh God, revive. And we will not do church as business as usual. We will not do church, oh God, like we did it before, God. But right now, oh God, you are changing our appetite. He said, those that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. We will come running once the church doors are open. We will not forsake the assembly. We will not take for granted fellowship when we come together in the church. We will not take that for granted. As you have us as a, at a standstill, reveal yourself to us even the more. We're asking you for wisdom. We're asking you for direction during this season. We are asking you, oh God, that you will reveal to us. Open the eyes of our understanding so that we can see, oh God, so that we will not neglect, oh God, our time and space of consecration, so that we will not re abandon our prayer closet. If there's ever a time that we need to return back, it is now. It is there ever a time that we need to go back to that secret place. It is now to seek wisdom, direction, guidance from you, O God. It is now. This morning, O God, I lift up my nation, O God. I lift up my country, O Lord. I lift up humanity. I lift up the four corners of this world and your capable hand. I lift up the Capitol Hill. Every decision that has to be made, let you be the one that hold that pen. Let you be the one, oh God, that make that decision. This morning, oh God, we say that you are sovereign. This morning, we say that you are in control of it all. The earth is yours and the fullness of it. The earth is yours, oh God. And the fullness of it. The earth is your footstool. Do as you see fit, oh God. Do as you please, oh Lord. Do what you want to do, oh God. Concerning the nation, concerning our world, do as you see fit, oh God. Not our will, but let your will be done, oh God. This morning we say, have your way. We say, have your way, oh God. Do it. Do it. Have your way, Lord God. We ask that you strengthen us during this time. We ask that you fine-tune our souls. We ask that you sharpen our discernment so that we can discern time and season you said time and season is in your hands Lord you hold time and season in your hands so nothing that is happening right now is taking you by surprise might take us by surprise but it did not happen behind your back it's not a coincidence to you it's not taking you by surprise. We ask in the mighty name of Jesus that you will give us strength, that you will give us wisdom, 
that you will make us prayerful. That you will put the spirit of prayer on us, oh God. So that we can return back to basics. So that we can return back to prayer, oh God. Prayer cannot be done out of casualty, out of convenience. Prayer has to be a lifestyle. These day and age, prayer have to be a lifestyle. Prayer have to be a lifestyle. Let prayer be a lifestyle for some of us, Lord God. We cannot pray when it's just convenient. We cannot pray, oh Lord, when it's just... (laughs) When we need just a quick prayer, it's not going to work. We got to return back to basics. We got to return back to our days of consecration. We have to return back, oh God, to putting the plates down. To fasting. This morning, oh God, as the scripture says in Psalm 121, we have those that are freaking out. We have those, oh God, that has lost their focus during this time. We have those... That are panicking. That are in panic mode. But if you look to the hill. That's where your help is coming from. Yes we all are in a valley. We all have been leveled out. We all all are in this playing field. We all right now is standing in need of, of God's grace. All of us. Are standing in need my God. Of his grace. This morning, oh God, I ask you that you will continue to be gracious, that you will continue to be merciful. We know that you got this whole corona pandemic in your hand. You spoke the world into existence. I know you can speak just one word to this Corona virus. I say, when we mention the name of Jesus, Corona has to bow. Yes, this morning we invoke the blood over this Corona disease. We say, have your way, God. We say, have your way, Lord. We say, have your way, God. Thank you on this morning for this moment in time. We thank you for this moment in time. The fact that we could come before your throne another Tuesday morning. We don't take it lightly. We thank you that you saw fit to wake us up another Tuesday morning. We thank you on this morning for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your compassion. We thank you the fact that each and every morning, your mercy, your grace is renewed. We thank you the fact that grace and mercy had afforded us another chance. This morning, for some of you that are feeling discouraged, I encourage you to read Psalm 121. Lift up your eyes to the hill, for where comes your help? We are all in a valley. The valley that the valley of life right now. Be encouraged. Look to the hill. For where comes your help? Your help does not come from the government. Your help does not come from your bank account. For real, guys. Your help during these perilous time, during these dark time, your help only comes from the Lord. Amen. Be blessed. I will see you guys. On Saturday, if God is willing. Again, Periscope, for those that don't know, this is Evangelist Sabine from Philadelphia. This is War Cry. I will be coming on, if God is willing, every morning at 5 a.m. I mean, I'm sorry, on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 5 a.m. Okay, I'm trying not to stick to a 
itinerary or an, an agenda but um for the most part tuesdays and um saturdays at 5 a.m i'll be coming on i'm gonna make the changes on the flyer i will not be coming on on tuesdays at midnight or saturday morning at 3 a.m amen so i'll be coming on tuesdays at 5 a.m and on saturdays at 5 a.m god bless you all i pray that you were blessed edify whether it was by one word can change the trajectory of your life amen look to the hill for where comes your help we bless you and Periscope. I was getting ready to get off. Then this song came on. So I pray that it ministers to someone, whether it's just one word. Okay. Listen to the words of this song. Facebook live. 